Ethan back tonight for another beer review, and I am doing Guinness, Guinness Draft, spelled Drought, the English style, brewed in Dublin, Ireland since 1759. This is the 4.2% regular Guinness. It is a dry stout. And on the bottle it says brewed in Ireland by Guinness & Co. St. James Gate, Dublin, Ireland. Brewer, brewers of distinction since 19, or 1759. Enjoy chilled straight from the bottle. This is the 11.2 ounce uh, European style bottle. So it don't give us the full 12 ounces, but hey, what can you do? It is 125 calories per 12 ounce. So very light. Very light stout, only 15 more calories than Bud Light. Um, most of a beer's calories come from alcohol, so at 4.2, it's going to be lower calories because it's a very, very low alcohol, especially for a stout, especially for a dark um, stout. You, you know, this is this and Murphy's uh, Irish stout with the nitro widget in it, which I've had, really good, pretty comparable to this. I. I don't think I've ever had a stout with lower ABV than those two. But anyway, let's get into this. Nice, sharp hiss uh, and smoke when I took the cap off, if not a twist off. I don't know what Guinness is. Most stouts aren't either. Um, I'm going to read some specs on it. Guinness is a dark Irish dry stout that originated in the brewery of Arthur Guinness at St. James Gate, Dublin, Ireland in 1759. It is one of the most successful alcohol brands worldwide, brewed in almost 50 countries and available in over 120. Sales in 2011 amounted to 850 million liters. So this bill does this beer bill. This beer does very well worldwide. And in the U.S., it's imported or exported from Ireland all over the world. Um, uh, one of my brothers lives in Korea. He gets it over there. I mean, it's pretty much um, wherever you are, you can get it. It's um, the most popular beer brand from Ireland, no, no doubt. And a very old brand too, 1759. A lot of um, American macros don't go back that far, so it's a very old brand. Um, it's got that, you know, that classic Guinness harp on the bottle. Very nice can art. Very nice look. Um, let's go ahead and get a pour. It gets an 81 on Beer Advocate. A good. They like it. Um, I've had it before, though. Not a lot. I don't get it that often. All right. Whole bottle fits in the glass. Got a nice, maybe two, three finger head. Khaki colored head. Light brown. Very dark, almost black aroma. But it's not black. You can see some sort of ruby red through there. Sort of a burgundy, dark brown, mahogany. Not black. It looks black on camera, but when I hold it up to the light from... From my vantage point, you can see that it's definitely not black. It's not devoid of color. And you can see light shining through it. On the aroma, you're getting um, a faint, not a very sharp uh, toasted barley malt. A little bit of a bread, like a burnt toast. Not to a burnt level, but toasted. Um, no alcohol in the nose. No real hop. Bitterness on the nose, just a nice bready malt, a little bit of toastiness. Let's go ahead and get in this and sip it. If you've never had a stout before, which if you're watching this video, you probably have had many, but for someone who's never had a stout before, this might be very flavorful and full-bodied, but if you are someone who's had a lot of stouts, a lot of imperial, high alcohol uh, stouts, porters, you know, barrel-aged stouts, etc., etc., bourbon barrel, 
blah, 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 whiskey barrel stout, saw that 12, 13, 14%. If you're someone who's had all that, this would be very, very thin for you. Um, and I haven't had a lot of stouts, but I've had enough in my uh, years of drinking beer where coming back to the regular Guinness, it is um, much lighter. You know, it at 4.2% and 125 calories, you know, it does drink like a Bud Light of stouts. Very light, but, but very tasty and very refreshing. It's uh, borderline thin-bodied for a stout, for sure, especially especially compared to those others, you know, like that, the, the bourbon barrel-aged imperial stouts, etc., you know. But it, it, it's thinner, and it's very light, especially for a stout. But does that mean it's bad or doesn't taste good? Not at all. It's delicious. It's very drinkable. Very, oh, so very drinkable and refreshing and creamy. You know, on the mouthfeel. You know, excuse me. This is a delicious beer. I mean, it's popular worldwide for a reason. It's because you're getting the, you know, nice breaded toasted malts of a stout, but such a high drinkability because of the low ABV. It's so sessionable. And it's not overwhelming on the palate. I mean, you do get a nice toasted barley malt. No hot bitterness, no alcohol in the taste at all, really. Very low IBUs. I would say maybe 20 at most, if that. 15 maybe. I don't actually know. But I see why this is so popular. I would prefer the Guinness Extra Stout 5.6 and Foreign Extra Stout, both of which I've had and, and reviewed. Delicious. Delicious. Great stouts. Wonderful. Guinness is a company a brand name that produces some wonderful beers haven't had a bad beer from them yet you can also get guinness can you get it you can get it in cans i think i've seen it in cans but generally you'll see it in the 11.2 ounce euro style bottle six pack for like 8.99 this was uh I have the receipt, uh, I think it was $8.99 for the six-pack, so pretty typical price, not expensive, not even really much more than Bud Weiser, um, but compared to the Far Extra Stout, 7.5 and the Extra, as I've mentioned, this is very light, it's like the Bud Light of them, um, you know, you could say this would be like your, this would be like your Bud Light, of the Guinness World. Uh, extra Stout could be like your Budweiser of the Guinness World. And then your Foreign Extra Stout could be like your, you know, um, you know, Hurricane High Gravity. You know, obviously it's a much better beer than that, but <laughs> sort of the, the ladder of how they go is kind of like that. But um, this is really good. I mean, um, my brother actually prefers this, the lighter Guinness draft, over the extra stout and the far extra stout. And I get it. it. You could argue it's more drinkable. But to me, I like the little bit stouter, bolder stouts. Um, especially at the longer, the more beers I try, um, the more my palate kind of grows, I guess you could say. And really, I just, I keep yearning for more and more and more, you know. More, more varied flavor, more toasted barley malts, coffee, you know, hot bitterness, ABV, all that. So coming back to a Guinness draft, it is a very light, easygoing, sessionable stout, as I've mentioned. But um, for a score, I'd give this like a 94 um, in the style and for preference. It's a great stout. You know, my only complaint with it would be having been spoiled on so many better better so many um stronger fuller bodied stouts we'll say um you know revisiting this stout that maybe you had you know when you were 21 for the first time and thought it was just you know extremely tasty and robust coming back to it you know it is a little thinner bodied and, and lighter than you might remember when you first tried it but it's still enjoyable it's a 
it's a great stout. It's a Guinness product. You, you won't go wrong with a Guinness. Um, uh, most people, well, I say most, but most people associate stouts with wintertime and cooler weather, but you could drink, you could drink this Guinness all year round at 4.2. You could drink this in hot weather and be fine. I mean, you might not want to, I usually don't, but very sessionable, very sessionable stout Guinness draft. Um, 94 all day, every day. Great stout. It's a classic brand. Um, world famous logo and look sold, as I mentioned before, as I read all over the world, easy to get, easy to find. If you see it, try it, buy it. Great stout. Cheers. And thank you for watching.